There must be some kind of way out of here. Say the joker to the thief. There's too much confusion. I can't get no relief. The Martian is directed by Ridley Scott and stars Matt Damon and a bunch of other actors and is also based on the book of the same name by Andy Weir. The film's plot is this. On Mars, an Ares 3 mission goes wrong and caused the group of astronauts to abandon the mission. While doing it, one of the astronauts, named Mark Watney, is assumed to be dead, but surprise, like in the book, I've never read it, and he, he he's alive and he has to try to he tries he has to do everything not only make food on the planet but trying to contact him so they can come and rescue him in the process. N now I didn't see The Martian when it came in the out in theaters, which was October of 2015. But by the trailers, it actually looked somewhat interesting. So when I got time to watch it, though, it was actually really, really good. Living up to all the praise and everything. Now let's talk about what I liked and what I didn't like. Let's talk about the acting first. The acting in The Martian is great, especially for Matt Damon, because in this one, he is really, really good. I mean, he actually gives some humor of what it's like being trapped in, in Mars all alone. The other actors, like, like Jessica Chast, Chastain, Kate Mara, Jeff Daniels, all the others, they, they do pretty good, but my naming all of them off, like I mentioned, the opening will be a complete waste of time, and I wouldn't want to waste your guys' time in the process. The science in the movie is actually quite interesting. Even though this isn't tiny anything, some parts in the movie we have Matt Damon record himself and show what's going on. Which is actually somewhat interesting to see him record himself while he's on his on his up alone, okay? Now I know I obviously didn't film the movie on Mars, but it looks great. It feels like you're actually on the planet. And the other special effects, like some, like like the stuff in space, is really cool as well, especially for a sci-fi film. When it comes to flaws of the Martian, I would say that the pacing is a little off, and I think that the movie is a little too long. Aside from that, it's a pretty damn good movie. If, if I had to put it. If I saw in 2015, I'd put in a, I put on my top 10 list, i put in the top 5 section. And when it comes to the other Oscar films I saw this year, which were, I think, um, Bridge of Spies and The Big Short, I would think I'd put, it's probably the best. I, I would have to depend on that. But still, Martian is a great movie. Number 1. Alvin and the Chipmunks Chipwrecked. Number two, Max Keeble's Big Move. And number three, The Road Warrior. I pray of you, please vote for The Road Warrior because Max Keeble and Chipmunks look like <laughs> I'm Jeff Buckland. Thanks for watching my review for The Martian. And for, for some reason, I'm going to go to Mars. I made it, but this planet sucks. And oh no, I forgot a helmet. Oh.